G'day gamers, Gob here. Welcome back to TriCraft. If you're not familiar with TriCraft, this is our multiplayer server where the TriCrafters get together and make shenanigans for all you fine people to watch. Uh, if you aren't already subscribed to me, please chuck me a sub. Just hit the button down the bottom now and you'll get to see when all my TriCraft and other content comes out. Um, what are we going to do today? Well, we are here on the peninsula where I've got that lovely um, lighthouse that Draymond Smith and I have built and we've got the racetrack being built in the background there. Uh, the base is that way. Oh, and there's a pillager. G'day mate, how are you? Uh, and we're going to do some work here on the peninsula and actually start uh, growing uh, the little community that I intend to put here. So let's get to it. Now first things first, are you a sole pillager or have you got mates with you? No, you're by yourself. You can you can go. Go away. Shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. And he's gone. So the grand plan for the peninsula here is to build a little bit of a community. Some place that uh, uh, if I start uh, growing um, uh, some friends and, uh, and uh, villages and, and a township, uh, they can live here above ground rather than down in the base. But you know what? If catastrophe comes, then they're more than welcome to come down to the base and uh, settle down there. So I might start with doing a little bit of leveling out. Uh, I'll just whack down my ender chest and a crafting table. So I've got somewhere to work with. And some chests to dump all this gear in because I've brought myself a little bit of uh, resources to use. So those can go in there. And a bed for when it becomes night time, and we'll get to some leveling. Okay, so I've cleared out a little area here. I'll just go and dump some of this rubbish. And get rid of that. Got a nice little haul of uh, dirt. And I got to myself some pods all along the way. I'll just grab my construction boxes. And just dump them down here. I'm going to need some of those. There we go, now ready for some construction. Now what we're going to do today is I want to build uh, a, the first building in here. Now being that this is a brand new area and we don't have anyone here and I don't think anyone's moving here because they're a bit scared, I need to fortify the area and I need some defences. So I need troops. So I'm going to build a barracks for my troopers. And I want to use some of the newer bricks. Because I like the polished blackstone. So I might chuck some polished blackstone in it. We're going to use some stone bricks. And I might even get some basalt in there. And we will build it. Now I have got... A fair bit of spruce here so we might chuck that in there as well this is going to be built typical gob style and I'm going to make it up as I go now being a barracks it's not going to be the most prettiest of structures it's going to be functional okay so I'll go up five here 
how many shall we make it across? One, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine across. There we go, five across there. Ow! And how many back shall we make it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13. Oh, I didn't dig it off. Just clear some of this out. Okay, so I've cleared a bit more space. And what we're doing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I think 17 is enough. I'm going to put that there. One, two, three, four, four, five. Ow. So we're along this line. That's it, I think. That should be right. Yes, it is. Awesome. Okay, so let's frame it up. So we'll just go along here with this. Did I say I got it online? No, I didn't. Ow. There we go. And we have framed the build. Let's just get rid of these errant bits of wood and it never happened right so let's work on the walls now predominantly it should be um, stone bricks but we will work on some other colors as well so let me just first of all I just want to see the overall frame Don't worry, I will put a door in here. Now it has to be made of stone. You know, if it's going to be a defensive structure, it needs to be able to withstand a raid. And that's why we have it in stone. You know, there is a little bit of um, wood here, but it should be okay. Okay, so the centre is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one through three, there's the centre block. That's going to be the door. What we might do is just surround the door in some basalt. How's that look? We'll see. Hmm, I reckon that could be interesting. We're going to need a windows, but maybe not at the entry. Oh, you know what I might do? I might actually take the entry out a touch. And we might put windows in there. Yeah, I think that will work. Alrighty, so you come in here, we won't have windows here, so we might just randomly chuck down some some blackstone bricks. Probably should do it at the end, shouldn't I? Where are we going to put our windows? Now, I want to put another room at the back here, so... One, two, three, might make it four wide. Now this might end up being wood, just there, I'm not too sure, we'll see. So you can't have a window here. Okie dokie, so yeah, we'll take these out. Thank 
Okie dokie. So we might have a window there and a space. Window there and a space. Window there and a space. Window there. Mm. Yeah, we'll do it like that. There we go. And all we need to do now is just fill it in. And there we go, the interior walls have been done. We'll just go out here. Now it's not pretty yet because I ain't texturing it just yet. We'll get rid of these in here so we can continue working. Now I do want this oak. What we're going to do now is just do some floors and I don't need that many. going to do some slabs. Oh, it's getting dark again. Jeez, the di uh, days go by fast when you're having fun. I'll have a kip and I'll see you in the morning. Alrighty, so back into it. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to dig out the ground level here because you know, it might be a barracks, but we're, we're a civilised force. Uh, we have floors at least. Okay, so we've cleared out the floor. Now I'm going to use slabs because slabs are a lot more economical than using the full wooden blocks. So I actually get more bang for the buck, as they say. So we'll just make the floors to this room. Now we're not going to put wooden floors in the back room, and I'll explain why when we get around to doing that room itself. Finish this floor off. There we go. And I brought some glass with me. Where is it? I can't see it. It was in my inventory all the time. Don't you love the light grey stained grass? Uh, glass? It's very hard to see. So we'll just... Ah, not that gob. Of course I use a shovel. We'll just whack that glass down here. in here. There we go. Maybe I will put a window there. It's looking a bit barren, isn't it? It just doesn't fit. No, I'm not going to do it. Alrighty, so there's our room. I'm just going to whack some dirt there for the time being. I'm sick of falling down the holes. What we're going to need now is something for my troops to sleep on. And we're going to give them beds. Now green is my favourite colour, so we're going to use green. Uh, why have I got anything that's not wood in my wood box? That is just silly. And we'll make ourselves some beds. There's six beds, that's a good start. Let's see how they go. And we'll whack these beds down in here. Okay, so our first guy or girl, we'll give him, let him sleep under the windows. Gets to go here. 
go. So all of it need two more. So we're going to put the next troopers down. Wouldn't be nice to have the candles now. There we go. That is our four. So it gets us eight troops in here. Going to need to give them some storage. I'll just get some gear and I'll be back. Alright, so let's get back in here. And what we want to do is give each of our troops a chest. And we'll put them at the base of their bed so they can put their gear into it. Remember, this isn't a modern day barracks. This is a Minecraft barracks. Alright, so there's their chest. We're going to need some lighting in here, but we'll do that when we are finished. Do I have any torches? Yes, I do. I'll just whack some torches down for the time being. Because we don't want nasties coming in. You know, these chests are more for their weapons and their things like that, but they're going to need somewhere to put their their armour. So I'm thinking they need some form of wardrobe or locker or whatever you want to call it. So let's just see. Yeah, that works. I like that. So each of them gets a locker. There we go. That's pretty cool. Now... What we're going to need to do now is put on a roof. Now we might need some beams going across just to support this building. So I will put these doors away and this wood. And we'll get ourselves this spruce. And we'll go and put some beams across. There we go. And we have some beams. Now we'll put on the roof. Now to do the roof, this isn't going to be a uh, fancy smancy building. Again, it's just functional somewhere for the troops to sleep when they're not training or guarding the area. So it's just going to be a basic roof. What we might do is grab some cobble. We'll get these slabs. We'll make ourselves some cobble slabs to start with. And we'll go up on the outside. And we will slab around the edges. Whoops, a daisy. So I'll get working on that and I'll be back. On the inside a little bit dark that's okay we've got lights okay so we will put a row of lanterns is that too low mm -hmm. yeah I think it is so maybe we'll just hang the lens straight from the 
the rafter here and above the maybe we'll put a lantern on top of each wardrobe there we go little bit of lighting in here now what we're going to do is build this room at the back now so I'll just get some more blocks and I shall be back and what I want to do at the back here is this is going to be their bathroom so we're going to have need to have a decent floor something that can get wet and allows oh I've run out allows for a little bit of drainage I'll have to get some more and I shall a bit back actually I'll just finish this wall off first because you have gotta have a little bit of privacy in the bathroom right so I've been working on the outside just a touch just trying to pretty it up a little bit and take away the blocky sort of shape don't need that anymore I've got myself some armor stands because you know this is a barracks so we are going to need some armor might end up building an armory somewhere down the track but at this stage that will do you're not the right alignment there we go um, I might put some shutters on these windows that works and that's good it takes away some of the uh, the blockiness I'm not too sure about this one I just chuck that one there still haven't finished on the inside however I'm gonna run out of these aren't I Oh, maybe not. Perfect. So that's what we got so far. And on the inside we have this. I finished off the floor in here. Just still need to do a little bit of work in here. I wonder if I can get rid of these torches now. Be good if we had the candles from the 117 update. No, that's pretty well lit. I like that. And do I have my workstation box? Yes, I do. Cauldrons, that's what I want. And buckets of water. Where are my buckets of water? Gob, how can you not have a bucket? Right, so I've got my bucket of water. I'm going to get a little bit of water and we'll see how this looks in. The bathroom. Just going to put a couple of cauldrons down. Yeah, that works. I'll go and get some more. Now, rather than making uh, six trips back to the uh, water source, I'm just going to make my own just here for the time being. Hmm, didn't know that was, I thought that was slabs. There you go. There we go, water source. Need to pretty this up a little bit more. 
I'll just do a little bit of decorating in here and I'll be back. And we're back in the Guardian Hall and we'll just grab ourselves a sign because we're about to welcome our latest Guardian to the channel. And uh, this person uh, I don't think has been around all that long but they've commented on uh, uh, my videos and said really nice things and I really appreciate them taking the time to actually put in a comment and uh, watching my video. So uh, for that you are now going to be one of my guardians and for episode 55 it is Alexa Robu and Alexa I really do uh, thank you uh, for taking the time to, to, to comment and uh, just finding my videos and uh, and and watching them and you have now joined the ranks of those people who uh, have taken the time watching my videos, placing comments, and uh, just basically giving me the incentive to keep going on this crazy journey that is uh, my YouTube Minecraft channel. But uh, let's go, keep building so we have something else for you to watch. Right, so I've played around with iron bars and now I'm going to try buttons. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. I can live with that. It could be like rivets in the wood. Good. That's good, I like that. I'll put some on this side. There we go. That's good. I'll put a little bell here, so we can ring the bell. Still don't know what to do just here. I don't like the plain basalt. So, I'm going to get rid of those. Maybe cobble? Uh, Take the stone brick just in case. I'll put those there. What else have I got to play with? That'll do me for the moment. Hmm, maybe just one might do the job. And I'll replace there with stone. Yeah, that works. Should I put a different one there? Oh, I wonder how this will go. Oh, I like that. I do like that. That worked. My goodness, that actually worked. Can I extend it along there? I reckon that works. Hang on, I'll just go and get some more stone. And I'll make myself some more slabs. And I'll continue on. That looks a lot better, actually, just walking along there. I'm a lot happier with the way that looks. A lot happier, indeed. It's still looking a bit blocky, though, isn't it? need to do something to take away the blockiness of it. No. Or do I just leave it? Hmm. Maybe that'll do. Um, tell you what, I'm going to go back to the dome and get myself some armour to put in there on those stands. So I'll just dump these. Don't need that, that in that. And we'll go back to the base just to get some armor. And we're coming in, we're coming in hot. Ah, splash. What the? 
Um, what is that? <laughs> I've been pranked. <laughs> what is it? What is the sign? There's a sign. Dome Guardian. If you hate him, I can break him down. <gasps> a panda. I think I love it. That's kind of cute. I like my Dome Guardian. Who, who gave me that? I would hazard a guess at Pamster. <laughs> uh, Dame got it. And look at you. Who are you? Snuffles. Oh, you are gorgeous. Okay, I gotta go and get you a lead. Gotta get you a lead. I gotta put you in with Sniffles. We got more members of the dome. I gotta give you a name. Come on, you cutie little panda. Come on. Come on. Come on, Snuffles. Come on. You stuck. You're a troublemaker. Hey, Sniffles. Guess what? We got a friend for you. A friend who really doesn't want to go anywhere. Come on. Come on. Stop playing in the blocks. Can I push you up the steps? There we go. Pushing you down the hallway. Mm. Come on. Sniffles wants my food. Don't you like my food, Snuffles? Come on. Come in here. Oh, you are a troublemaker. You are a troublemaker. Come on. In you go. In you go. Put that there. There we go. Sniffles and snuffles. You want to feed? You want to feed? There we go. You can have a feed too. And look! Oh, you are so cute. You are so good. It's a little panda family. Sniffles, snuffles, and what are we going to call you? We'll have to work it out. Maybe all the viewers can vote on the name for you. Sniffles and snuffles, Bubba. What do you? Oh, you are so cute. Look at you. Oh, that is awesome. Let's go and say g'day to the polar bears while I'm here. G'day, guys. You like your home? Yep. You guys aren't anywhere near as exciting as Sniffles and Snuffles. Hello. <laughs> um, I've completely forgot what I came here for. I think it's night time. Maybe you better have a sleep. And we're coming back to the base from the dome. That yeah, doesn't look too bad. I'm kind of happy with that. Let's go and de decorate the armor. And we also put that, and that, and that, and that. So, bam, 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 bam. So there's some armor ready to go for the troops. And again. So that's that done. Hello, cheeky. And I have one more thing I want to do for this area. 
and I think I'll do it down here actually. I'm gonna have to move all these, so I'll just do that and I shall be back. Right, <coughs> so the area I'm gonna do now is just down here, and I'm going to build it up a little bit. Uh, it might be at this level, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down a big square of gravel. So let's start along here and we'll work out how big this square of gravel is going to be. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So I think twenty by twenty should be enough. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And I'll just fill that in and I'll be back. And there we go. We are now finished. My little gravelly area. I uh, can't remember if I've said what it's going to be. If not, I'm going to keep it a secret until I do some more work. But I need to go Nine Eyes now. Right, back to it. Now I want to ring it with some stone. Oi, you, what are you doing? You're going to be food for my troops? Yes, you are. You shall be called food. I'm going to leave you here as food for the troops. Right, okay, so I'll ring this with stone. There we go, now I ring it with stone. And I just want to put an edge to it. So let's grab some stairs, if I've got any in here. Uh, don't want those ones. I've got 29, that ain't enough. But I think I've got a stone cutter here, yes I do. Do. So I'll put those there, and I'll get those there, and 20, 40, 60, eight. that should be enough. And we will go along here. Alright, so I've got myself a bit of sand and a bit of dirt. So I'll just extend the land out a touch. Just so this area is not standing up on us Pat Malone. Nine, ten. So these two are my middle ones. I'll just do that. And what I want to do now is I want to put a pretty block maybe there, there, and put that one there. And then with this one, I'm going to need to go up. So let's go up there like that. just go up. And maybe one more. Go over that way. And we want to go out here. We'll go out two each side. Ow. And we shall do that. And we will get this one 
can go up here. Like that. And I get those. I don't know if I'm going to have enough of these. We'll just pick these up because waste not, want not. Go along here. And we want. No, I don't want to do that. Come on. There we go. I want that. And we'll go out this way, like that one. Ah, wrong one. Ah. And we'll come down. what we have there is a flagpole. Now we just need to put up some lighting so we don't get nasty nasty mobs coming. And we'll put one here. So one on each corner. And we'll just put those on there as we go maybe. And we'll put the sign here because this build of the parade ground and the barracks and we'll just go and have a look inside it now okay so there's our parade ground our flags here's the barracks building for my troops somewhere for them to uh, freshen up somewhere to sleep and store their gear uh, that should be enough troopers in for this little village eight troopers and this village will expand now that we have a fortification to protect them okay and this build is dedicated to one of my top tier patrons and that patron is Staff Sergeant Dud this is your outpost dedicated to you mate and I do appreciate your patronage and uh, for being one of my top level patrons you get a special build here on the TriCraft server and this one is yours and uh, Staff Sergeant Dad, I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos supporting my channel and uh, generally being a great guy and thank you for your service and I hope the troops that uh, work out of this outpost protecting uh, what will be a growing little community uh, will serve uh, with honour uh, in the f outpost named after you. Let's have a flyover and see what it looks like. And you know what? I'm very happy with that. That is a great start to my military outpost and let's let's do a little bit of marching okay so we'll get our sword we'll do that and we'll just slouch a little bit prayed prayed a ten shun by the left quick march left right left right right wheel Left, right, left, right, right, wheel. Left, right, left, right, and halt. Will present. Present arms. Well, that wasn't much of a present arms, was it? Anyway, you get the idea. A little playground. And it works. It is so awesome. But uh, all the nasties are about to come out. So uh, I might call it quits here. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, chuck me a comment. Remember, we've still got to name the Baby Panda. And if you want a special build here on the TriCraft server, and you want an opportunity to come and play with all the TriCrafters on our very own patron server, uh, all you need to do is become one of our patrons. Uh, preferably mine, because I'm self-serving. And it only costs 
as little as a dollar uh, a month to be a patron and uh, if you want to get a special build you support the channel uh, ten dollars a month will get you a massive shout out get you a special build and uh, would get you my unending gratitude but I think I'm going to get mobbed very soon so uh, that's all I got time for today hooroo <laughs>